you don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel. So notice how much you love review videos. So for today I'm gonna review some brushes. I got this Real Techniques brow set. Basically you get three brushes, the tweezers and the brow scissors as well. I mean three brushes, you get two brushes and a spoolie. I do like my eyebrows, I mean I do like you know, thicker and bigger and more intense eyebrows. So I do care of what tools I use and you know, what products I use because yeah, I do like my eyebrows. I feel like I can go with no lashes on, no mascara or falses on or lipstick, but I need to have my brows done because I feel like it, you know, frames your face kind of. Because now I don't have anything on my brows. Yeah, so I feel like a bit bigger-ish. <laughs> do you guys ever feel like this? What product you couldn't go without? Brows, lips or lashes? Leave it in the comments down below because for me it's brows. If you follow my channel, you probably know my love for Real Techniques brushes and I do have a lot. And so far what I see, these two brushes looks very familiar to me. I think they've been in different sets already but maybe I'm wrong, we can compare. Forgot to mention that the pouch is included as well. If you like to keep your brushes neat and tidy or you need to carry any with you in your bag, it's actually very handy, this neat and tidy pouch and you can see what is in. Loving this so far. Let's start opening this pack up. So think first, maybe the scissors is rounded on the top. I have no clue why is it like this. We're gonna check it out. Okay, next thing we got in here is an angled tweezers. I like already honestly what I see because I'm using very very similar ones at the moment. Just a bit bigger ones actually. Really like the shape of it. I know for sure I'm gonna be loving this. Okay, another thing what we got in here is the brow brush. I do own quite a few Real Techniques brow brushes but this so far looks very different to me. I mean it's angled like most of the brow brushes are. It's super thin and precise. Oh my god it's so soft. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. So you see, it's angled, it's very, very thin. Let's just compare. I'm usually using this as dirty. That's my usual look, because I used this yesterday. Look how smaller it is. Just ignore that dirtiness, it has a product on it. Look how smaller it is. I mean, it's the same angle. It's even thinner than the old one. Oh, these are not even cold brow brushes. Actually, these are eyeliner brushes. So I'm using for my brows the eyeliner brush by Real Techniques, but these are from different sets, so look how different they are. So these three are from different sets and the gold eyeliner brush. This is the brow brush, the new brow brush. And the original brow brush by Real Techniques used to be way much thicker and bigger. Just look at this. Huge. It's so much thinner so it's definitely easier to use because this older version is like for I don't know, you need to have super big thick brows for this massive brush. Both brushes are called brow brush. Just this one is an older version, this one is a new one. Loving new ones so far because this is so similar to the ones I'm using but called eyeliner brushes rather than brow brush. Okay, then we have in here is a brow spoolie. So just your ordinary spoolie. There's nothing, you know, extreme about it or different. Just like any other spoolie. So I'm not gonna talk much but it's definitely good for brushing the brows. The the last brush that we have in here is brow highlighting brush. So basically it's a small, dense, bit fluffy brush. One side is kind of, can you see this guys? It's angled on the side, so it's perfect for the highlight because it's, the brush goes in the angle. I really do like this. Okay, let's do my brows and see how good these tools by Real Techniques are. The first thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a spoolie to brush my brows into place. Brown's definitely need some trimming. Then we're gonna use the tweezers just to get unwanted hair that is growing out of a shape. I'm just brushing my brows slightly bit up so I can cut the brow hair so that it's too long and like curling the way that I don't want it to curl. Very interesting scissors, like I don't get it. Just going on the top what is the shape that I don't like. So this round bit that I wasn't sure what about, first of all, it doesn't poke you. I mean, if you cut it like this, this is rounded. There's no edge in there, so it doesn't kind of poke you while cutting it. So it prevents from hurting the skin around. Let's fill in the brows. I'm currently obsessed. I do my eyebrows using this literally every day with Revolution Pro Eyebrow Cushion. So I use the one in the color chocolate. 
let's use this new brow brush super super soft though and i like that it comes black because any brow product that i use colors the tip so it looks like it's dirty after wash although it's not it's just because the product stains it oh this brush is so soft oh, it's so strange so i'm used to using super dense brush so i'm kind of i don't have to talk about it <laughs> So I always start from the middle of my brow, on the top and then the bottom kind of to outlining the brow. I'm not really making it bigger or anything, I'm just going with my natural curve and natural, you know, line. So I always start from the middle, as I don't want to start from the beginning because if I start in like in here, brow would be far too intense and would make eyes look more droopy to dark this part. You want the darkest part to be here. That's why I start from the middle just to create the shape and then I go add more product on the brush to the end to the end and in the outer corner of the part of the brow then I fill in the middle and then what's left I'm going to the front of the brow beginning of the brow, front of the brow yeah you know what I mean from the bottom just dragging kind of the color up and if I mess up like I did in the ear, I'm just gonna go with the tiny detail brush with a concealer or even without anything on it, just clean around. Go with conceal and define by makeup revolution and small detail brush and just gonna clean up the brow a little bit. So one eyebrow is nearly done. What a difference. Let's brush it up a bit. Let's try this brow highlighting brush. So I'm gonna go and use contour and glow by Make Revolution. It's darker highlighting on the side. Could use with the creams as well, I'm sure. This brush would work definitely. So the reason why I'm highlighting the brow arch is to lift my eye a little bit. Just don't do mistake by dragging the highlighter closer to your... I don't even know how to explain. Basically keep it on the arch of the brow. If you would do, say, this, this is where your highlighter needs to sit under the brow arch. That makes sense. And this is where your brow arch is supposed to be. I'm loving this brush though. So one brow is complete. I'm going to quickly do and my brows are complete. I know it's not identical, but it's not supposed to be twins, it's supposed to be sisters. <laughs> Honestly, these tools were super easy to use. I'll be definitely using these as these are so handy, especially the tweezers, the scissors, the spoolie, obviously to brush off your brows, the actual brow brush and the highlighter brush. I wasn't expecting this to work as good because it picked up the product so easy. It picked up so much product, so a little bit goes a lot with this highlighting brush. Definitely worth your money. With Real Techniques brushes, once in a while you can get like a deals in a boots or super drug or whatever, like free for two or buy one second is half price or something like this. Or just go and check your local Tiki Max, you might find any of the brushes cheaper. Definitely really good deal, I think. I'll be using it for sure. Let's just check this little pouch. Let's just put the brushes in. Cute! What do you think? Oh my god, this pouch is actually so handy, I think, because it could keep loads of brushes in. I'll be keeping this in my handbag, I think. I mean, with different brushes, the ones that I would need that day for that makeup, but it keeps them clean. And you see straight away what's in without even opening. Thumbs up from me. Definitely gonna be using on the daily basis could I recommend more I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review slash tutorial video and you found this helpful if so please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more honestly guys you don't even know how much I would appreciate that leave a comment down below let me know what video you would like to see next on my channel should I review something specific and what's your go-to makeup tools what you use every day yeah leave a comment down below let me know and I shall see you soon in my next video so thank you so much for watching and bye Thank you guys.